Um, I'm Caitlin Starnes and I'm a junior this year. And some things that I participate in are band, student council, and NHS. My name is Aiden Gasadis. I am a senior at Castleberry High School. I have participated in uh, baseball, marching band, mariachi band, DECA, the list goes on. Hello, my name is Devontae Lacasse. I'm a senior at Castleberry High School. And uh, a few of the activities I participate in are uh, UIL academics, uh, the marching band slash concert band, and mariachi. I'm Alexis Aguilon. I'm a senior at Castleberry High School. I participate in athletics, cheerleading, and Latinas in progress. My name is Patrick Thompson, and I'm a senior at Castleberry High School. I participate in marching band and student council. It really helps me prepare for college and get a feel of what it'll be like, like the rigor, your study habits that you need. The credits you will have going into college, these can help tremendously getting some of your basics out of the way so you can go ahead and start your major. Um, I've learned a lot of skills there, uh, time management, organization skills, and teamwork. By learning to be more responsible, which means turning in assignments on time, and managing my time well. Because it's given me a better work ethic and given me much better time management skills as well. Some of my academic goals in high school are making sure I stay in the top 10% in my class. Um, these courses are weighted. They can really help your GPA as long as you work hard. My academic goals were simply just turn A's and B's and join certain clubs such as cheerleading to make more friends and put myself more out there. Um, GPA, I think being in the top 10, I think, but it wasn't so much that as the journey. Uh, my biggest academic goal in high school is make sure that I'm prepared for college, um, financially, academically, things of that matter. So. The amount of time you have to dedicate to everything and you don't want to give 100% to one class and 0% to the other so you kind of have to figure out how to balance everything out and I think that's one thing that I didn't really understand before I had done these classes. Things I know now about college are how to manage my time and how to form some study groups. Um, through on-ramps and TCC, I've especially learned that uh, college courses, most of them are exams, so you have to build your way towards those exams. The fact that the amount of work and responsibilities you have have increased, you know, your teachers are going to be harder on you, but I, it's always good that they're harder on you because they also, you know, push you and drive you to keep doing well. They have a higher rigor, they expect more out of you, but at the same time, the challenges that are presented really um, come back with results for the students. You learn way more in an advanced course than I think you do in a regular course because it expands out so many other issues and topics that go on. Um, the only really way you're gonna learn how to figure this stuff out is by asking questions. Don't be afraid to go up to someone you don't know and ask them, hey, can you help me with this problem if they understand it? Because you know, you need to develop relationships with your peers along the way, and even just asking for help on one problem can really benefit you. The things that I do whenever I need help in a class is first I'll ask my peers. Usually they have a different mindset and they're able to attack the problem. But if they don't understand the problem or if they have the same difficulties as me, I would ask the teacher. Whenever I needed help, I simply just went to my teacher for help, or I just went to a classmate that I knew I can count on. And even if my teacher didn't know the answer, we could simply just email the UT professor. And To me, success means challenging myself and succeeding in those challenges. A grade is never going to define who you are. You're the only person who can define who you are. I think success is not the number, it's the journey that you've taken. To me, success is trying your hardest, no matter how difficult you think something will be. It's just finishing it and going through it and not giving up. Success in a class doesn't necessarily, to me, mean getting an A. It can also mean that I've learned something, that I've gained something along the way. I would tell them to go for it because it's really worth it. You earn the college credit and you won't have to take those classes. I think it would be very beneficial for students, for all students to try one advanced academic course 
Because it really, you learn so much about yourself that way. You learn your, the best way to study, but you also learn that if you try hard enough, you, you can make it, you can succeed. In five years from now, I see myself in medical school. Um, still volunteering at the hospitals, like I volunteer at Cook's. I'm really interested in sports. I'm interested in going to the sports entertainment, marketing, broadcasting, something along those lines. I'm thinking about uh, West Point. I'm also applying to um, a lot of the Ivy League in Tier 1 schools, so just depends. I'll make that decision towards the end of the year. After I leave Casbury High School, I want to go to college. I'm not sure where exactly yet, but I want to study social work. My plans after leaving Casbury High School, I'm attending UNT uh, in fall 2020. I'm going to be, I'm going to hopefully be majoring in computer science.